Indeed, look at the crisis we are going through. We are suffering one of the worst currency challenges in the history of this country. Gold has the solution to this problem. They are not paying taxes on the Galamse. She is smuggling the gold. She is doing all manner of things against our law. And because MPP is in government and maybe they claim she is their financier, they are defending her. And they want all of us to follow suit. I mean, all of us that cannot be fools in this country. If perhaps they have been deceived by Ashawan because she has given them some pretenses, or because uh, Baumia went cap in hand begging them for money and she, she led them to go and raise funds for their campaign, that doesn't mean that we, the citizens of this country, must sit down and allow them to rip the nation off. Do you have any basis of this allegation that Aisha Wan is a financier of the NPP? Oh, well, I mean, if she's not a financier of the NPP, I wonder how the pre somebody who is supposed to have been deported and the president admitting that he has been deported, the, the, the senior minister, um, if you want, the prime minister, Osafu Mafu, saying that she has been deported. All of a sudden, the president is playing dumb and saying that he doesn't know that the woman has been deported. And I think it's becoming one too many and it is becoming a worrying trend. You have a certain president who always says that he's not aware of decisions that he himself has undertaken. The president has issued executive instrument and he says he is not aware. He has written letters of authority and he says he's not aware. Corruption appears under him, everybody is talking about it, he says he's not aware. Today, Aishawan, he's saying that he's not aware that Aishawan was deported. Very soon he will say that he's not aware he's the president of this country. And, and I think that we should be worried, we should be concerned.